Pereira, I'm a teacher of computer science at the University of the University of Basque Country. And I'm going to present you an, a study, an experiment that we did with chatbots in a learning environment. First, I will describe with a chatbot. A chatbot is an application that simulates a conversation. Uh, for example, you can use a chatbot to book a hotel, to reserve a flight, and to manage your agenda. Uh, uh, you can use a, a chatbot also for playing games. Okay, for a lot of things. It's uh, like a, a personal digital assistant. So, uh, how can we use this kind of chatbot? You can use a chatbot uh, with this kind of instant messaging applications, for example, Skype, uh, for example, uh, Facebook Messenger, WeChat, Telegram, Slack, Quick, WeChat. There is a major uh, instant messaging application that is missing here. No? Who is it? What is it? WhatsApp. WhatsApp doesn't have a chatbot platform, so it's, uh, it's, I don't know why. So usually we use this. In my case, I will use Telegram. Do you know about Telegram? Uh, this, in fact, messaging applications are uh, very used in our world. Uh, according to some sources, uh, the active users of messaging applications surpassed the users of social networks last year. And as we all know, uh, many of these users, or heavy users of instant messaging applications, are our students <coughs> and me. <laughs> Uh, these are uh, my students. I have 23 students. Uh, I am a teacher of a subject about web development in a computer science engineering degree. We use a lot of uh, client-side program programming, JavaScript, HTML5 uh, APIs. And part of my uh, class, is my subject is evaluated using multiple choice question quizzes. So, for practicing these quizzes, uh, my students use uh, Moodle, the quizzing tool of Moodle, Moodle. So they have to use their laptop, and it's uh, quite uh, difficult to use these quizzes, to practice with, it, with these quizzes outside the classroom. So I thought, why I don't use all of these, instant integrate all of these instant messaging applications with chatbots, with quizzes, and that's my first research question is, would it be possible to integrate a chatbot in the classroom to practice with multiple choice question quizzes? The second question would be, will our students like the idea? And um, will it be an effective tool? So last year I implemented this. This is a chatbot uh, called DawiBot. It's a public chatbot. You can use it. Um, please use it. It's in the public. It's in Telegram. If you use Telegram, you can start a conversation with with this person. It's not a person. It's a program, a script that I program. And uh, as long as you enter the conversation, you will see a question, a text, an optional picture. You can add pictures to these questions, and a set of possible answers. Also, a keyboard that uh, it's adapted keyboard. Uh, because we have only three options, the keyword will only show three possible answers. So it's quite easy to click on one of that. And uh, you will get uh, instant feedback. If it's a right answer or it's a wrong answer. Okay, so you can practice with this, whatever you want. And after that, uh, you will be presented. I will show you then with a couple of buttons. One is, I want to know more about why is this a correct answer or why is this an incorrect answer? This is an option. Or you can click the, okay, next question, please. I want to play it in more. So you will be shown another question. In this case, it asks for possible options and the keyboard adapts accordingly. Um, we have, uh, quite a lot of uh, comments. comments. A command is like this. This is a status command. A command starts with a prefix, that is a slash. And in this case, the status command will, will tell me uh, uh, my score. I have answered 
IEP for uh, questioning us correctly and 21 incorrectly. So we make partitions. <laughs> it's like a game, the students play with it a lot. And you have other uh, commands, like for example, I want to, to, uh, to play with another test. Uh, I have more or less 10 tests, and uh, each, each of these has uh, uh, 10 questions, more or less. So all in all, 100 questions, more or less. And you can, you can play well with whichever test you, know, you want. Uh, with all this data, uh, we can uh, make some interesting charts of pictures. This is one of them. This is the distribution of daily answers by a student or by user. And sadly enough, uh, you already know when was the exam day. Uh, it's not a uniform uh, usage. So some people, some students use this bot, uh, more or less, uh, every day, not every day, but more or less. But some others started to use to practice with the text very late. But it's interesting to know this pattern. This is another one. Uh, I made a chart with all my users and how many questions were answered correctly by each user and how many incorrectly. So in this case, I can see very quickly who is working uh, quite good and who, have, who is struggling with the problems with the questions. So I can intervene uh, and uh, decide to, to uh, make some suggestions to do that kind of users to improve their, their, their development. So all in all, I would say that it's possible answering my research question. I think that it's possible uh, to implement a chatbot in our university classroom. And uh, users are uh, agree. Uh, they agree with this, this question. And they also say that uh, it's not only possible, but it's quite easy to start using the bot. They are quite used to use uh, WhatsApp, and the Telegram application is very, very similar to WhatsApp, as you know. So for them, it's quite easy to, to use the chat. Uh, they all say that practicing tests is a good idea. They like it uh, a lot, as you can see. Well, my number of students is quite low, so it's not very significant. But uh, all of them say that they completely agree that it's a good idea to practice it with this kind of chatbots. Uh, they, they will recommend, they will be say it's effective not only for your subject, but also for other subjects of, the, of my grade, of our grade. So uh, we will uh, share our application with, with other teachers, and you're invited. Uh, there is also some space to improvement. We should design the chatbot better to engage more uh, our students in the subject because this number is, is quite good, but it's at the same time combined with the others uh, is quite low. So in order to do that, we are working on it. Uh, next iteration of our application will uh, add a new feature. It's an audio feature. Uh, our students will, will be presented with a question and they will, be, they will have to record the voices with a voice note. Uh, so other users uh, will evaluate in a peer-to-peer -peer fashion. It will be a collaborative evaluation. So the evaluators will get a push notification to their mobile phones saying, OK, uh, you're an evaluator and you have a new uh, voice recording to be evaluated, so please proceed. <laughs> uh, this kind of, notify, of push notifications can also be used to encourage our users to chew them up or to say, OK, you are not working very well, please uh, pay some attention to your work and work better. So I have uh, 30 seconds. <laughs> I, will, I will use. Um, an example of my bot. This is the bot. Uh, so, uh, if you have Telegram, but I, if you have Telegram, I suggest you to use your smartphone. But in, just in, in order to be recorded, I uh, use the web, uh, the web, web, the web platform of, of Telegram. 
Uh, you can say, okay, this question, I don't know which is the correct answer. You can type it or you can click on a button. When you get uh, an answer, you can ask oops, You can ask why is this answer okay, why is not, and you will get an explanation, or you can go to the next one, and the next question will appear. And you also have uh, some commands. A command starts with a slash, and you can say, okay, what's, uh, what tests are available? These all tests, uh, most of them are for my subject, but the last ones are for uh, collaboration with the nursery <laughs> uh, teacher. Um, for example, just to finish, I want to, to show you that this test also includes one of this one, sorry, the third one. Okay, the third one includes a picture, so you can ask about this picture also. It's quite interesting. Okay, one minute more. <laughs> 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 Thanks. <laughs>